My name is Mr. Coleman, and today we are going to learn how to calibrate and utilize a centigram balance. Uh, centigram balance is the device right here. It is kind of the uh, new and improved version of the triple beam balance in that it actually has a fourth beam allowing it to accurately measure uh, the mass of a substance to within one tenth of a gram. And the scale is precise enough to allow you to uh, estimate uh, to within one one hundredth of a gram. Um, so they're very useful uh, to accurately measure the mass of substances in the lab. Um, now first thing we would want to do is calibrate it. Before I calibrate it, I want to show you some of the different pieces, parts of it that I'll be referencing during the video. First, you see right here what we call our calibration line. Next, up here, you see what we are going to refer to as our pointer. Next, you see your four beams. One, two, three, four. Each beam has a weighted rider on top of it for adjusting mass. Next, we have what we call our zero adjustment knob or zero adjustment screw. And lastly below you see what we're going to refer to as our movable pan where we place our objects to be masked. As you can see right now the pointer is a little bit above the calibration line. So we need to calibrate our centigram balance. And we do that by turning the zero adjustment screw or knob over here. We're going to turn it clockwise since the pointer needs to move down. We would move it counterclockwise to adjust the pointer up. But by doing that, by calibrating it, what we're doing is essentially setting the mass of whatever the pan is and whatever uh, is currently in the pan equal to zero. Let's do that. I'm going to turn the zeroed adjustment screw out of your line of sight right now clockwise until the pointer lines up with the calibration line. Do that now. probably rock back and forth a little bit, so we're going to need to be patient for a minute. But you should see these two lines settle in pretty close to one another in just a minute or two here. Slight adjustment there. That looks pretty good. I would call that a successfully calibrated centigram balance. Well, we're going to mass our three matches out of a old-fashioned matchbook here. Okay. I'm going to carefully add one match at a time to the movable pan. One, two, three. And as you will see, the pointer is now significantly above the calibration line. So what we now want to do, what we now want to do is adjust, uh, starting with the lowest rider or most precise rider first, 
we're going to move it from left to right along our beam, monitoring the pointer and the calibration line because as we move our rider from left to right on our on our um, beam, it's going to move the pointer down closer to the calibration line. If we go too far and the pointer extends or comes to rest below the calibration line, we simply adjust the rider back from right to left uh, slightly. And you just basically continue adjusting back and forth accordingly until we have the pointer in the same position as it was relative to the calibration line when we calibrated it. Give that a minute to settle down there. Now it looks like I need to continue. continue to kind of adjust a little bit there. Looks like our pointer is a little bit below our calibration line, so I'm going to move my rider back to the left a little bit to compensate. calibration line and the pointer are pretty well lined up. It's about as good as we're going to get. Now let's go back to uh, examine the position of the rider so we can read the scale properly. Now I apologize, I realize this reads the other way in video, but working from left to right here, uh, this is obviously zero, and each tiny line is worth one-tenth of one gram. Now, we're past the two-tenths of a gram, or in other words, 0 0.2 gram line. And we're just a smidge past the 0 0.25 line. We're not quite to the 0 0.26 line. So we're certain of uh, the measurement being for, uh, longer or the mass, I should say, being heavier than 0 0.25 grams, and we're certain it's lighter than 0 0.26 grams. So we want to estimate that third digit so that we can express our uh, measurement of the proper number of significant figures. And I would estimate that to be about 0 0.252 grams. 0 0.252 grams.
And that is it. That's how you calibrate and utilize a centigram balance.